Wallah, you know what? I don't care about my luggage. I don't care about all, all this hassle's gone. I forgot about it, man. The gear, I'll buy new gear. Everything, everything, everything has just vanished. Again, out of vacation, my flight gets delayed. I'll go chill in the mystery for a bit. I had to change of plans. I missed my flight. Next day, I'll give it another go. The delayed flight is delayed till today. So I have two tickets for the same flight. I have an issue with the plane again. And they have another delay and we missed the connected flight. Every time you think it's over, it's not. Back at the airport, we give this another go. Where my luggage make it? Yeah, my bag didn't arrive. No baggage. Zero kg. Alhamdulillah. It's good to be back in the Gambia. Slept maybe four hours, I think. Just going through all my equipment, seeing what I can do and what I can't do. I'm missing all my charging ports. Whipped up a contraption to charge my camera using my MacBook charger. So hopefully that doesn't do anything for the camera. He was out yesterday, up and back, same day. That's literally 14 hour drive. Six hours and a half up, six and hours and a half back. Yeah, 13 hours. I'm asking about water projects. I raised some money from my auntie for the water projects. He said they're all finished, they're all done. Inshallah, after I sort out my land, this time we go see some of them, but they're far. Because obviously, we went to the people that I needed the most. Back in Tanji, these brothers trying to get me to film some testimonies because I don't have a cameraman. But we do it. We we'll must work for spot. No problem. Any day. And also, because a lot of my gear is lost in the luggage, they're going to show me the gear that they have in the store and then maybe we shall light it. Use something. Bro, that looks like my bag, fam. <laughs> that looks like my bag. <laughs> oh, Allah. Found the exact same gimbal as my one. And my orphanage is going to look like this very soon. Who remembers this guy? <laughs> my brother. I actually still remember my name. I'm so bad with names. What did I say your name was at the start? I said Suleiman, yeah? But it's Abu Bakr, uh, it's uh, Astaghfirullah, it's Abdullah. We're on our way now to have a fun look at the land. This is gonna be my first look at it. Abu Bakr already had a look at the land. He likes it, he thinks it's good. He thinks it's in a good location. There's many factors to consider when purchasing land. Location, electricity, is it near a swamp? Cause these swamps get infested with diseases, malaria, all sorts of stuff. Can you dig a water well in it? Is it legit because that's probably one of the biggest issues is the price right but everything so far is ticking they said that they let check the land and the owners seem to be legit no falsified documents everything's looking to be a-okay so i'm gonna go check it out pray istikhara purchase it before ramadan beaten later ta'ala and get as much work on it done as possible this is the biggest hurdle that inshallah when we overcome it everything's gonna be easy and I'm gonna build a serious, serious, serious project within the United Island. It's gonna be something impressive and it's gonna be something that's gonna facilitate for the future generations to memorize the Book of Allah Azza wa Jal, gain knowledge and have a safe spot to just literally live a normal life. All right, we're here. 62 and then 62, 42, 52. This is better than I thought. Bro, it's big. <laughs> And it's a good location as well. Let's, let's walk to the... Yeah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. I'm now walking from corner to corner. And you know what's the bonus? My auntie's borehole is right up the road. Hammer. It's literally just down the road. Alhamdulillah bro. That's 62. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The road is literally here. And electricity is here as well, yeah? Allahu Akbar, there's electricity as well. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Salaamu Alaikum. Tubab. Tubab. Salaamu Alaikum. This is the other corner. Bring the, the guy from the land's office. He come and check the land. Went back to the office. Check it on the system. So Alhamdulillah, the land is clean. And then we also asked some neighbors who are living around. They also said the land is clean. Pray stikhar on it and then we pull the trigger. Yeah. I'm already envisioning the, the masjid being there. Qibla is this way, right here, with the kids. Takbir! Allah! Allah Akbar. Sleeping area here. I have like an empty space over here. I'm ready. It's making sense. This is the road we came in here. Yeah. yeah. And the main road is here, right here. And, and these are this compound. 
Okay. Okay. So now this is 62, 62, this is 42, and then you have 52. So maybe they must give this side a bit here, yeah? sleeping area this side, and then you have this space. Yeah, you have mango trees. Oh, no way! That's mad. Look at these mangoes. This is a massive tree. A lot of mangoes, yeah? This one, this one, they're all different type of mangoes. This is gonna be difficult to clear, bro. No, like, no. These are big trees. No, no, no. Where we build the musket there. They were so bigger than this one. They just come maybe two, three days, they will clear this. Place. Yeah, I know, but okay, I know it's gonna be easy to clear, mm. but. <laughs> you some, don't wanna cut it down. Yeah, man, I don't wanna yeah. cut it down. Maybe you we're gonna have to leave at least one. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. big one, yeah. yeah maybe this like one this. or the other one over there. Because look, bro, there's so much hair in this, bro. Look, it's, it's full of mangoes. Allah barik. I can't believe this is the potential land that I'm standing on, bro. I don't want to leave. <laughs> My bucket is trying to bounce. I'm like, nah, nah, let me walk through one more time. Alhamdulillah. The second we pulled up, I seen these hijabi women. My heart just felt good about the land before I even seen it. There's road from every single side. You come and you look at the fruits that are on the land. Allahumma barik. Look at the barakah on this place. And this is a huge tree. And there's many, many more trees. There's a masjid close by. Then he tells me that the borehole that they done for my auntie, Allah yarhamah, is around the corner. And by the way, this wasn't planned between me and Spot Project. Spot Project done the borehole for my auntie around the corner from here. And I found this land. And he was like, you know what? Fun fact, your auntie's borehole is around the corner that we done. People are benefiting greatly from it that they've extended taps all over the village. For that specific borehole. So this is a tap from the same borehole. The same borehole of the masjid. Allah So Allah. it's not only the masjid, it's the community. Allah, you know what? I don't care about my luggage. I don't care about all oh, this hassle's gone. I forgot about it, man. The gear, I'll buy new gear. Everything, everything, everything has just vanished. And there's a new lease of life in me. I'm so happy. Wallah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I need to make some shukr, bro. Asalaamu Alaikum. We're visiting the mu'adhin of the local masjid. Alright, so this is the masjid and this is the borehole. Yeah. One of the extension going up to the other side of the community. We can even walk there if you want. Ah, this is a very old mosque. Apart from the central mosque of the village, this is the first mosque. Then when I was very young, going to school when we built this mosque, and now, now I am 56 And I had old. no running water until now. Only with your help, inshallah. No, not with my, my help, but alhamdulillah. With the help of all, all my Allah. Alhamdulillah, exactly. Here it is. Oh, I think here's the end. Guys, I've decided. Sha'Allah, after we've done our orphanage, we're gonna look after this special. Make it proper sick. He said that he did a very good job for us here. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. May Allah reward you.
finished praying also and the people from the community they just want to they didn't want to let us go they wanted to keep talking to us they wanted to keep thanking us but to be honest i didn't really do anything the the hard work was done by a spot on the ground so what is happening and you're the ones who donated so may allah bless you and increase okay, your ranks so in Jenny. and it's so crazy that it was right beside so tell, the tell, borehole tell, that tell, they tell dug Adam. we put the borehole there and then we did not know about the land where you're gonna build this school and the fact that we had so many lands before and every single one of them some way it would just fall through it just wouldn't happen so inshallah this one actually happens and we buy it but so far so good and the fact that it was right beside the, that borehole that they built and they didn't know about the land that we found it just subhanallah this is the Allah Azza wa Jal and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his plans are the best plans. I plan, you plan, they plan, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala plans, and he is the best of plans. So a lot of you have been reaching out to me. You want me to open up the project again for Ramadan. Wallah, I have been flat out. I'm literally in a hotel room editing this thing. Tomorrow I'm going to Umrah. I've been on the go. I haven't been sleeping. I've been busy. You're going to see the vlogs are going to be very consistent. Inshallah, I'm going to try and get every two days a vlog out during the month of Ramadan, bi idhin ta'ala, from the time the first vlog is posted. So I'm going to open the donation link again. It's down below in the description. Whatever you want to contribute, this is a sadaqa jariya. This is something that will continue on beyond your lifetime, bi idhin Allah ta'ala. So the people that purchase the land, that's khalas, that's for them. So if you put money towards that, that's inshallah, it's gonna be sadaqa jariya, it's gonna run until day of judgment, as long as this thing is being used, peace be lillah. And then now is the building blocks. We're gonna be building, we're gonna be not even building anything normal. This is gonna be like, Look, for me, I'm a, I'm a high achiever. I want this to be the best of facilities. I want it to be top in the whole of the Gambia. It's going to be something remarkable. It's going to facilitate a place for the orphans. And then not only that, but these orphans, I want to take them to the next level. I have big plans. I have big goals. Lofty, lofty goals. You don't understand. And bi ta'ala, we're going to achieve them. We're going to achieve them. We're going to make this thing happen. Inshallah, bi wahid al ahad. And if you want to be part of it, you know where to contribute. Yo. I thought it was a joke and then I was like, I seen the sword clatter off each other and I was like, yeah. Inshallah, it doesn't break the glass or something. I'm always teaching this guy. What is, what is? Okay, start from beginning. Okay. يتيم والدمع فاض من عيني وفي قلبي أساس